I've mapped the FI journey onto the hero's journey simply as a heuristic device. This community thinks getting FI is the whole journey and it's really just the first quadrant. You know why you feel trapped when you got a bunch of payments? Because you're trapped. That's why you feel trapped. Hello and welcome to another episode where we transform financial chaos into financial peace. Today we're focusing on a journey that many of us dream of yet often feel is just out of reach, living a life completely free of debt. In this special episode, we'll unfold a remarkable case study of someone who has lived to tell the tale of this arduous yet fulfilling journey, who also gleaned priceless strategies from the Toll Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey and Your Money or Your Life by Vicky Robin. Two tones that have revolutionized how we think about and handle our money. Let's dive into the story of Jane Doe. Just five years ago, Jane was $80,000 in debt, a mixture of student loans, credit card bills, and a car loan. Today, she stands before us completely debt-free, sharing not only the tangible steps she took, but also the mental shifts that made her success possible. Jane's story begins with a stark realization. One evening, sitting at her kitchen table surrounded by piles of bills and statements, the weight of her debt finally hit her. It wasn't just about the numbers, it was about the future those numbers were stealing from her. That night, she made a decision that would change her life's trajectory. She vowed to become debt-free. Her first step was to confront her spending habits head-on. Inspired by the total money makeover, Jane started by creating a zero-based budget. This meant that every dollar earned was assigned a job, leaving no room for mindless spending. As Dave Ramsey puts it, you've got to tell your money what to do or it will leave. Jane meticulously planned where each penny of her income would go, ensuring her expenses never exceeded her earnings. With her new budget in hand, Jane then turned to Ramsey's famous debt snowball method. She listed her debts from smallest to largest and focused on paying off the smallest first gaining momentum as each balance was wiped clean. This wasn't just about math for Jane. It was about quick wins, about the psychology of seeing results, which Ramsey argues is crucial for staying motivated. In tan with these practical steps, Jane began to incorporate lessons from your money or your life. Vicki Robbins' philosophy encouraged her to understand her life energy as her most precious resource. She started to calculate the real cost of her expenses in terms of hours of her life, not just dollars from her paycheck. This shift in perspective made her question each purchase. Was this item worth hours of her life? The deeper Jane dived into her financial overhaul, the more she found that her relationship with money was not just about spending and saving, it was about her values, her goals, and her dreams. Vicky Robin prompted Jane to ask herself what was enough for her. This was a question of sufficiency that challenged Jane to redefine her understanding of wealth. Over the next segment of this video, we'll break down the steps Jane took explore the psychological and emotional shifts she had to make and outline actionable strategies you can apply in your own life. From the baby steps that Dave Ramsey advocates to the nine step program outlined in your money or your life, we will provide you with a roadmap based on real life experiences and proven financial advice. Join me as we take a page out of Jane's book and dissect her monthly budget, scrutinize her debt repayment plan and marvel at how she turned her modest salary into a powerhouse of debt repayment and savings. Now let's delve into the nitty gritty of Jane's monthly budgeting routine. With her zero-based budget crafted, Jane had to maintain strict discipline. She poured over her expenses, cutting down non-essentials and renegotiating bills where possible. Cable TV, gone. Gym membership, replaced with free workout videos online, eating out only for special occasions. Jane had to be honest with herself, distinguishing between wants and needs. This didn't come naturally at first. It felt like I was denying myself a lot, Jane recalls. But then, I realized I was actually giving myself something far greater, peace of mind and financial freedom. With the debt snowball, Jane started to see immediate progress. The smallest credit card debt was paid off in two months. It was a small victory, yet it sparked a flame of hope. Every payment after that felt like a celebration, a tangible step toward her goal. But Jane didn't stop there. Embracing Vicki Robbins' teachings, she looked for ways to maximize her life energy return on investment. She asked herself before every purchase, did I receive fulfillment, satisfaction, and value in proportion to life energy spent? This question became a powerful tool in assessing her spending habits. Jane's next move was to increase her income. She started a side hustle, freelancing in her field of expertise during evenings and weekends. Any extra income went straight to the debt. It was tough, Jane admits, but I kept reminding myself why I was doing it. For every hour, I worked extra. I imagined the freedom I was buying back. And then there were the setbacks. An unexpected car repair here, a medical bill there. Life didn't stop throwing curveballs just because Jane was on a mission. But instead of letting them derail her, Jane adapted. She built an emergency fund, one of Dave Ramsey's baby steps to buffer against such shocks. 
As months turned into years, the sacrifices began to bear fruit. Jane's commitment to her zero-based budget meant she was living within her means consistently for the first time in her adult life. Her debts, once a towering presence, now seemed conquerable. It wasn't just Jane's finances that were transforming. Jane herself was changing. I was becoming more mindful, not just with my money, but with my time and my relationships, she reflects. The principles of your money or your life extended beyond her wallet, influencing her entire approach to living. Three years into her journey, something miraculous happened. Jane made the final payment on her last remaining debt. She was free. Free from the lenders, free from the anxiety, free from the weight that had held her down for so long. But what of Jane's life now? What did freedom look like for her? It's simple. Jane says with a smile, it looks like choices. The choice to take a vacation without guilt. The choice to save for my future, to invest in my passions. And the choice to never go back to where I was. So what can we learn from Jane's story? What can we take away from her tireless effort and unwavering focus? It's that debt-free living is more than just paying off what you owe. It's about setting yourself free to live the life you've always wanted on your terms. As we wrap up today's episode, remember that like Jane, you have the power to change your financial destiny. It takes courage, commitment, and a little bit of guidance from those who have walked the path before us. Join us next time as we continue to explore transformative financial journeys and the lessons we can all apply to our lives. If you've been inspired by Jane's story, or if you're on your own journey to financial freedom, share your story in the comments below. Together, let's inspire and support each other to achieve the peace and freedom we all deserve. Thank you for watching, and remember, live your life, not your debt. Until next time.